Bermuda's coral reef systems are special habitats that provide food, shelter, and breeding sites for numerous plants and animals. They are incredibly important to our island's very survival because they provide natural protection for our coastline. Without coral reefs, there would be no Bermuda. Business analysis have calculated that our coral reefs contribute $722 million a year to Bermuda's economy. But did you know? They are so threatened that the world has already lost 27% of its coral reefs. We're glad you want to be a BZS Reef Watch Citizen Scientist and spend a day out on and under the water surveying our spectacular coral reefs. It's a super fun day and all the data collected goes directly to coral reef research and conservation. No special training is needed, but there are some things you should know. There are two training nights for Reef Watch. This video complements that training. Come to one of two training nights to select your site from the map. It is most important that you select a site you know well, is easily accessible, and appropriate for the level of experience of each person on the boat. On Reef Watch Day, use the coordinates map to locate your chosen area with GPS. Your GPS will display the latitude and longitude in one of three ways digital degrees, digital minutes, and digital seconds. It is important to use the correct GPS numbers to find your reef location based on the manner in which your own GPS displays your boat's position in the ocean. Your boat will anchor in the sand a short distance from the reef. So once you're there, gather your gear and a partner, dive in and swim to your reef. Don't forget to write your reef ID number on the slate, team name, and your name. You will measure the reef in three main ways. Count the number of fish, record what's on the reef, and take note of corals and invertebrates. You will want to do the fish census first. The slate is designed to be used underwater. Nine fish feeding guilds have been selected to be a part of the Reef Watch Fish Census. Count all the fish you see over the entire reef that belong in each feeding guild over a 30 minute period. Make special note of lionfish. Estimate the water visibility. Is it clear or cloudy? How far can you see looking straight ahead or straight down? We want to know what the area around your reef is like. Is the seafloor made of rock, sand, or broken up coral? What else is on the reef? Use the weighted hula hoop to record what has colonized your reef. The hoop should hit gently on the bottom without moving. Toss the hula hoop through the air onto the shallow top of the reef. Let it sink gently onto the reef. How much of the area within the hula hoop is covered by coral? What type of coral is there? Star coral? Brain coral, finger coral, soft coral, seaweed. There's something labeled rugosity on the slate. Estimate the distance in centimeters from the deepest to the shallowest point on the reef within the hula hoop, and that's the rugosity. Look for the coral disease. If seen, put an X in the box. Does the coral have a black or yellow band? If so, that's black band or yellow band disease. Are there signs of coral bleaching? This is when a coral colony has completely lost pigment and is white. You and your partner will randomly toss your hula hoop 10 times, recording on the slate exactly what you see each time. There's one more thing to do. Take note of all the mobile animals on the reef. Lobster, sea urchin, sea cucumber, nudibranch, often called sea slugs. Now you are done, so bring your completed slates and hula hoops to the after party back at the Bermuda Aquarium, and Dr. Murdoch will begin collating the information. Remember, all the data you have collected gets used for real, meaningful science. Each boat is asked to raise at least $500, and the easiest way to raise the money is to ask your friends, neighbors, relatives, and anyone you know to make a donation. They simply go to CrowdRise and pledge support for your boat. Looking for ideas to raise pledges? How about challenging another company or team to see who can raise the most money? Or put a coin jar up in the office. Remember, all money raised goes to coral reef conservation. And don't forget all your safety gear. Thanks again for being a Reef Watch Citizen Scientist.